Hey, in this video of a Proxmox series, we're gonna be creating a new virtual machine with Ubuntu on it. So we're gonna go ahead and open up a new tab, go to ubuntu.com slash download slash server and download the latest LTS server version of Ubuntu. So once that gets done downloading it, save it to your desktop. We already did that previously. So we're just gonna go back to our Proxmox environment, go to our local drive, ISO images, upload, select that file, browse to your desktop or wherever you save that and hit upload. Okay, once it gets done uploading, you're gonna get another pop-up that says Task OK. So let's close out of that dialog. So then we're gonna click on our server and right click and do create VM. We're gonna change our ID here to something else because we might set up a cluster later in a later video. So I don't wanna have the same ID as another VM on another host or you won't be able to tie both servers together. So keep that in mind. And we're gonna just name this Ubuntu test. Hit next, collect our ISO right here. Linux is fine. Hit next. This, all the defaults are here pretty good. Change this to, you know, whatever you want. We'll just do uh, 40 gigs because like I said, this is just a test server. Hit next. Next, we're going to change it to two cores and we're going to give it four gigs and hit next. We're going to do our VM BR bridge zero, which is fine. And we're going to check box this to start after it's done creating. So right now it's creating the VM on our Proxmox server and it's going to be automatically starting it up. You can see I already created it and it's starting up right now. So let's go to console and let's see. There we go. So we can go ahead and click on install Ubuntu and we'll wait for this to load here. Be patient, it might take a second so we should get the installation here coming up soon. All right, we're at the installation. I'm gonna try to make this a little bit bigger. So we select English. We're gonna continue without updating. That's fine. Uh, set your language preference done. We're gonna install uh, everything with the default current packages, which is fine. If you need a really minimized version, go and select the bottom one. And here's where we can set our static IP. So we're gonna add our ethernet one here. Then we go down to edit IPv4. Now you can set it for DHCP, which is fine if you're just doing this for testing, but if you need it set for static, go ahead and set it to manual. And we're gonna go ahead and put in our subnet here. Now it might be different, of course, depending on your environment. And then our gateway, which it needs this to in order to talk out. And then name servers were just set for uh, Google's DNS for right now. And we shouldn't need to put anything there, but it looks like it's making us to do that. Oh, we forgot our slash 24 up there with our subnet. It's the slash 24 subnet. Okay, once you have your IP static and IP information inputted correctly, then you should get the save option here at the bottom and we hit save. And then now we can move on to our next step. It's already gonna be, you can actually access into the machine right now and then hit done. And then we're gonna ignore that. We don't need a proxy address. Uh, this is just for updates and things. You can leave that for default. Uh, we're gonna use entire disk, which is fine. Hit next and then hit done. As long as everything looks okay there, continue. It's just gonna let you know it's gonna format everything. Um, here is just gonna be your login information. So make sure you remember this Then hit done. And we wanna install OpenSSH. And so then we can actually remotely manage this Ubuntu server. And you can use something like PuTTY to SSH into your server. So you wanna make sure you check that for sure so you can manage it that way. And here are some other packages that you can automatically install. We don't need anything. So we're just gonna leave it. If you need the next cloud or Docker, or, or anything like that. You got a checkbox out here because you can install that right away, but we're not doing that. So we're just installing the actual system and I'm going to pause it, let it install. And then uh, we're going to try to putty into it while this is uh, installing. So we're actually download putty because we don't have that. Go ahead and get that downloaded and download putty. This is a great SSH tool. I like just downloading the uh, exe and not the installer, but you know, that's personal preference and run that. So we get that open. And then if you remember our IP is 192.168.8.56. So we have that ready when we're done. We're still installing, so I'll pause it and let you know when we come back. All right, Ubuntu is fully installed. So now we can go ahead and reboot now as long as you got the installation complete at the top. So we're gonna reboot now, continue when it comes back up. All right, once our Ubuntu reboots, you should get a screen like this where it's showing you login. So let's test our SSH. So like I said, we set our static IP to dot .56, hit open, and you should get a prompt like this as long as you don't have any other additional firewalls or anything turned on. Let's go ahead and hit accept, and then let's log in with with our username and type in our password here and hit enter and there you guys have it we are in our ubuntu server and we can set up as a web server or do whatever we we want to do so there you guys have it this is how you install a Linux VM on a Proxmox environment. Hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any other suggestions or any other videos you want to see, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.